Hello everybody and welcome to product layout design using line balancing. Uh, previously we have discussed about different types of uh, layout but just to remind something about product layout. Product layout consists of a number of processes arranged one after another in a land produce standardized product or services in a relatively high volume. When we require standardized product or service with high volume so we can use product layout and it uses specialized uh, equipment or dedicated staff each stage of production is able to maintain a production rate at an equal rate by the way here line balancing is used to ensure that the output of each production stage is equal and maximum efficiency Line balancing ensures coordinated, it coordinates each stage of production or it minimizes the bottlenecks or we can avoid bottlenecks by making the flow of uh, the flow of the activities having equal rate. A major design consideration in production line is the assignment of operations so that all stages are more or less equally loaded. The line balancing problem is the one of assigning one of assigning all the tasks to series of workstations so that each workstation has no more than can be done in the workstation cycle time and so that the unassigned or idle time across all the workstation is minimized. By the way, we will discuss uh, how line balancing can be done using an example. Let us see the steps in balancing an assembly line before moving to the example. The first step in an assembly line is to draw the precedence diagram. By the way, the precedence diagram is just a, an abstract or just a representation of the precedence relationship of the activities. And the second step is to determine the required workstation cycle time. And cycle time is the required time uh, to finish the required time for a workstation to finish all uh, the assigned tasks. And it can be calculated as uh, cycle time equals production time per day divided by required output per day in units. And the third step is determine the theoretical minimum number of workstations, the number of workstations required to satisfy the workstation cycle time. So a number of workstations can be uh, obtained by some of the tasks some of the task times divided by cycle times this is the uh, sum of all the activities time divided by the cycle time so we can obtain the number of workstation and the fourth is select the primary rule by which tasks are to be assigned to workstation and secondary rule to break ties and the fifth one is assign tasks one at a time to the first workstation until the sum of the tasks time is equal to the workstation cycle time or no other tasks are feasible because of the time or the sequence restrictions repeat the process until all the tasks are assigned and step six evaluate the efficiency of the balance derived using the formula efficiency equals sum of the task times t over the actual number of workstations and A times the workstation cycle time that is CT and the last step is if efficiency is unsatisfactory rebalance using a different decision rule if the efficiency found in steps uh, 6 is unsatisfactory so we rebalance using a different decision rule let's move to an example let's do uh, this example a car manufacturer plan to assemble 500 cars on a conveyor belt per day. Production time per day is 420 minutes and the assembly steps and times for the wagon are given below. Find the balance that minimizes the number of workstations subject to the cycle time and the precedence constraints. So uh, there are uh, how many tasks? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have uh, 11 tasks and these are the 
time required for each task time required for each task and these are the description for each task for example task a is just position rear axle support and hand fasten b for screws to nuts and c insert rear axle and uh, this column is the tasks that must precede for example for example he here before uh, doing b that is four screws to nuts we have to conduct we have to do a that is position rear axle support and hand fasten so a comes before b and b comes before c and d comes before e and there is no precedence for a and the same is true for the remaining so let's draw the precedence diagram uh, from the previous table a and d does not have any precedence so we put a and d first then uh, after a b has a precedence of a so we put uh, b after a and c has a precedence of b so we have to put uh, c after b and d and g uh, for the activity to uh, do d and g we have to do first c so uh, c is the precedence for d and g and d and g h and i are the precedence for j so we have to complete all these four activity d g h and i before j then once we finish j so j is the precedence for k so this is the precedence diagram of the uh, tasks and the next is determine the work station cycle time so cycle time is the calculated by the production time per day uh, divided by required output per day in units so the uh, given production time per day is 420 minutes so we have to convert into a second to use the same uh, units so 420 times uh, 60 divided by 500 cars because the required output per day is 500 so uh, when we divide so we get 50.4 seconds so uh, th this indicates that a single car requires 50.4 uh, seconds to complete step 3 determine the theoretical minimum number of workstations so uh, the minimum number of workstation can be calculated by dividing the sum of task times by cycle time so the sum of uh, task times can be obtained from adding all the task times that is 195 and divided by cycle time that is 50.4 and we get 3.87 and we have to round to 4 so 4 is the minimum number of workstation the actual workstation may be more than and the fourth step is assign tasks to workstations until all tasks are assigned so we have to assign starting from workstation one uh, when we assign the tasks to workstation we have to keep in mind that the first is prioritize tasks in order of the largest time requirements and the second is keep in mind the precedence relationship of uh, the tasks and the other is cycle time requirements we can add tasks until we finish the cycle time of the workstation assign tasks until uh, cycle time finished and the cycle time we know that 50.4 second is cycle time for each workstation let's assign all the tasks to the workstations as we know the first task to be assigned is a so a is assigned to workstation workstation one and the task a requires 45 uh, seconds since the cycle time is 50.4 when we subtract 45 from 50.4 it remains 5.4 so 5.4 will be a leftover time so we cannot assign any task for this small uh, second 
since the other tasks require more uh, time. So let's move to station two. In station two, we have to assign D and D requires, D requires 50 seconds. So here, the leftover uh, second is 0 0.4, 0 0.4 second is the leftover. And now let's move to station three because it's already uh, used up. We cannot assign uh, a task for 0 0.4 second. So in station three, in station three, there are some tasks uh, like B, we already assigned, right, A and D, so B, E. So uh, to compare which one can be assigned uh, first, uh, for B, uh, the followers for B is one, two, three, four, five, five followers. For E, one, two, three, four, so B comes first, B comes first because, because task with the most followers is B. It has the most followers because it has five followers, five uh, tasks follows B. So B requires 11. So we can subtract, uh, when we subtract 50.11 from 50.4, we remain with 39.4. Then E follows. Let's assign E. When we assign E, E requires 15. And because we have already 39.4 seconds, so from 39.4, we subtract 15, 50 seconds, that is for E. So we remain with 24.4 seconds. And the next is assigned C, C is assigned the next because it has largest followers one, two, three, four. And H and I has less followers one, two. So C is uh, assigned next uh, to E. Then C requires nine seconds. So nine seconds uh, when we subtract nine seconds from 24.4, we remain with. Uh, 15.4 second and the last the task that we add here in station 3 is that F F has two followers F has uh, needs 12 second and uh, the other is uh, okay we already assigned E uh, what about uh, H. Okay. Uh, by the way, H can be equal chance to be assigned. Uh, but anyway, let's assign F. So when we assign uh, F, F requires 12, uh, 12 seconds. So when we subtract uh, 12 from 15.4, 3.4 become an idle, an idle time, right? Uh, because this one is a leftover time and no other tasks can be assigned with this small time. And the next uh, station is station four. In station four, uh, we can assign G, uh, G that is 12, uh, because G actually uh, there is equal likely to be assigned with uh, H, H also requires 12 and their number of uh, followers is also the same. And I, G, H, I can be assigned here because our cycle time is 50.4 and G, H, I requires 36, 36. So when we subtract all this from uh, 50, we get uh, 14.4, so still we can assign another task that is J. J requires 8. We still have 14.6. When we subtract 8 from 14.6, 6.4 become an idle or a leftover time that no one, no task can be assigned. And the remaining is uh, station 5. So station 5. Uh, 
already takes uh, k that is 9 so when we subtract 9 from 50.4 the leftover is 41.4 it is an idle time so all the tasks are already assigned so uh, the station will be here as you know the real the actual station become 5 and the calculated station was 4 so this is the actual station and the calculated is less than the calculated station is actually the minimum station required but since there are leftover or ideal time so the actual station will be the number of actual station will be higher and uh, step six calculate the efficiency and the efficiency is calculated by the time that is the uh, task the sum of the task time divided by uh, number of workstation in time cycle time so 195 is the sum of the cycle the tasks divided by uh, five five workstation times cycle time equals 0 0.77 or we can say 77 percent efficiency so evaluation of the solution is the last one an efficiency of 77 percent indicates an imbalance or idle time with one minus or we can say 100 minus 77 percent so it becomes 23 percent across the entire lane this is the end of our discussion uh, thank you for listening have a good time bye